our last day in Japan and we are in Nara. It's a beautiful day and we're about to eat some eel rice. Uh, unagi is my favorite sushi and so when I mentioned that to Kami, she suggested that we try Japan's famous eel rice. So we're at this restaurant here at Ogawa Narimachi and this is what the eel rice looks like. Looks pretty straightforward. This place is pretty popular as you can tell. Full waiting room. It's got very high reviews on Yelp. And they also have a little gift shop inside. Funny shaped noodles. And whatever this is, we have no idea what this is. But they sell it here. Yeah. <laughs> Really pretty behind yeah. you. This tempura set and then this eel set. This is the famous famous <laughs> eel and rice dish. This is our soup, which comes with looks like three little fish balls, which are kind of technicolored. It looks pretty interesting. And these are some of the local well, vegetables. <laughs> The Chinese can't use chopsticks. <laughs> Needs more sauce. Tempura. You gotta dip it in the sauce here. That's the tempura sauce, yeah. Oh, that's um, shredded daikon. Oh, gobo. Radish. That you can mix with the um, tempura sauce. Better? <laughs> okay, try the custard. This? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what you use. Yeah. I thought it was a fish ball, but I don't think it is. It's pretty much flavorless. I think it's mostly just decoration. This Kansai region where we're in is famous for these pickled vegetables. It's sour and crunchy. No idea what that is. Whoa. This one's been pickled in um, soy sauce to taste like. Alright, so we've tried everything. Here's my review. The tempura is so-so. It's actually kind of soggy. Not very crisp at all. So I would have to say that the tempura is not so hot. Kind of flimsy. Um, the salmon is good, but it's not so moist. Could need some more sauce, or maybe it's a little bit overcooked. The sashimi is good, though. And I love the wasabi in Japan because it's always, well, every time we've had it, it's been so much chunkier than the pasty stuff that we get back in the States. Um, the soup is back there in the corner, it's kind of bland, not so hot. The pickles are probably the, my like the highlight of the dish for me. And then the custard is really interesting. I would definitely eat it again. I found something else interesting. It smells like lemongrass. And it has a little bit of a ma sensation, we'd say, in Chinese, which is, there really isn't anything equivalent to it in English. You would translate it to spicy, but it's different because it actually leaves your mouth with a little bit of a numb sensation, like Novocaine, which might be helpful to get this so-so meal down. <laughs> Okay, so we just spent 4490 which makes it the second most expensive meal that we've had in Japan, second only to Kobe beef, which was by far the best meal that we've had. Um, unfortunately, this one was probably one of the worst meals, I'd say. is only better than Moss Burger. Um, the eel, which was the main dish, was dry. 
the tempura, which is the second main dish, was really soggy. The sides, however, were quite good. The pickles were excellent, and that little custard with some seafood and vegetables was pretty good too. But overall, it was it was not a very um, appealing appetite. I wouldn't recommend it as you know, anybody visiting here at Nara. The building itself, however, is very beautiful, and it does have nice ambiance. So overall, because of the ambiance and because of the pickles, I'll give it two stars.